Okay guys, so today I haven't got this subwoofer I picked up at Goodwill. It came with some speakers and the speakers worked great. But the subwoofer only so the amp for the speakers was all in the subwoofer and only one channel worked. I think it was the right channel. And no matter how much I tinkered with the board, I could not get the left channel to channel to work. So I ripped up the old board. These are the power wires that I need to remove because I'm no longer using that. And here is the cables for the subwoofer. I'm replacing the amp with this one I bought on Amazon. It's a TP something or another, I'll have it on screen. <laughs> but it's a 2.1 amplifier, it's like 50, 2 times 50 watt plus 100 watt subwoofer channel, but uh, I don't need that much power. It's basically the only thing you can get for an application like this where I don't want to spend a lot of money on this because the subwoofer it costs eight dollars and I'm just not going to spend a hundred dollars on an amp to stick into an eight dollar subwoofer, that's ridiculous. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire it up so it'll have a detachable speaker cable so I don't have to wire the speakers directly to here. Uh, tweeters I should say but then I'm gonna stick it in in here or maybe even just mount it on the back like that the little little box seal this off and that'll be that I'm gonna build a little box for right here out of cardboard put the amplifier in that and screw it to the subwoofer and I'll cover this up with the uh, original uh, thingy that came here or the amp. These are for the power with cable which I just snipped off so I don't need these anymore. I might be able to actually harvest them but uh, other than that it should be pretty simple. So I got it wired up. These two go to the subwoofer. This is the ground just connects to a 3.5 female jack so I can plug in the speakers any speakers that I want it should work let's find out after I glue it down and make a little box for it I got to thinking why not just use the box that it came in since this will fit it and I won't have to make one It'll be easier so that's what I'm gonna do where it needs to go in the box I just drill a hole with a quarter inch drill bit And now I just need to glue it all on. Here it is with the amp box glued on. It's pretty solid. I wouldn't pick it up by that, obviously, but... It looks okay. I mean, if it was painted black, it would look a lot better, but... I might paint it, I might not. Because I plan on giving this to someone and whether or not they want to paint it. Anyways, let's go test it. Run down to the I.O. So we have two speakers, input, volume, bass, treble, and power. Alright, I'm about to plug it in for the first time. Please don't catch on fire. Alright. Now I'm going to turn my volume all the way down because I don't want to blow the speaker uh oh Something went wrong. There is sound coming from the subwoofer.
A lot of bass. This is awesome. Let's try something else. 